our culture doesn't freeze in Kiev, even whilst a thick sheet of ice covers the Dnipro River. Proof of this was with the newly opened art project Art Avia at the Ukrainian Museum of Modern Art, which features the paintings of the prominent Georgian artist Avtandil Gurgenidze. His collection of paintings was presented on only one material, air sickness bags. While I was flying, I was looking for material to paint on. I found air sickness bags. Some of the passengers don't even know about their existence except when and if they have to use them. I figured that the bags happened to be of pretty good material for my paintings. After I painted several bags, I turned them into an art project and was soon connected with the Ukrainian International Airlines, who sent me a pretty hefty amount of their air sickness bag. <laughs> I called the Ukrainian International Airlines PR representative and told her that we had an artist who painted some of their airline's air sickness bags while flying home. Then I asked her if we could obtain 200 bags from their company, because the artist wanted to do an art project, and soon 200 air sickness bags was the exact amount that was received. They sent us a collection of his work, made on napkins, also pictures of his paintings on cabins at a ski resort, and one painted air sickness bag that belonged to our airline. Along with that, we were also told that the artist wanted to paint more bags, and so we said okay. the art presented by Avtendil Gorgonidza is not the only creative passion toward air sickness bags that the world knows. An entire air sickness bag museum exists in the United States. I'm a collector. I've collected coins, I've collected pennants, I've collected various things. And when I saw an air sickness bag, I thought, this is something that I could collect that nobody else collects. And I was wrong, but I, uh, it was still... I like it. It's, it's different. It's unique. I have the largest collection in the continental United States. So that, that means that there's a bigger collection in Alaska. And there are about 10 other collections that are in the world that are bigger. And here's a tip for people who want to get into bag collecting. When you're on a flight, take the safety card. Because the safety card is right next to the bar bag. And safety card collectors do this too. And sometimes they have, and they don't care about their bags. So you can trade a safety card for a bar bag, no problem. Each of my works has a story, but I deliberately avoid giving them any names in order not to limit the perception of my viewers, so everyone can make his own interpretation of my paintings.